going through. All, All right. right. I think we're good. We're getting some feedback from somebody. Is yeah, if you got the feed running live, shut it down, boys. Yeah, if exactly. All right, there he is. Sorry, Tom. No, uh, no Anthony, yeah, good fun good All right, Anthony or Tom, one of you has Facebook running. It's not me. Shut it's it not me. Down. Okay. Here we All go. Right. Oh, you got Tom my timer? from Philly, Anthony Manzon from San Diego. Dan, you're hitting them. Time starts. We're going with Tom Tool first. Hey, Tom, here's one that we hear all the time. Sounds simple, but what do you say when someone just says, hey, Tom, so how's the market? Well, that's a great question, Dan, and it really depends if you're looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest. So All right, here we are. We're going to pivot quickly. Tom, Tom's in a hurricane zone or something, some kind of storm. Something's going on over there. Tom, adjust your Wi-Fi a little bit. Figure out if it's going to be Wi-Fi. Figure out if it's going to be cell on your phone. You can do this right on your phone by clicking that same link. We're going to go over to Anthony. Anthony, can you get my timer back up, Kyle? Yep. Just refresh the timer. Let's go. Uh, Glover says there could be an issue with the with the with the uh, voting because, and somebody else was saying this. Apparently, when we're switching people, the voting disappears. It's Not when you look on a cell phone, it shows up wonky. Um, it only shows the actual percentages on a desktop. Brian's sending the actual vote counts in the thread, so that you can see it exactly. It just shows doesn't show up right on a cell phone, but it counts the votes. That's all that matters. Maybe we won't switch the next speakers in then until the vote is done. Um, and that'll be that. Anthony, real quick, get him his time, Kyle. Simple question, but what the hell do you say? Often the agents sound stupid when they answer this. Hey, Anthony, how's the market? You know what, Dan? That's such a great question. You know, that really depends. Are you in the market to buy a home, sell a house, or maybe invest in real estate? Um, I'm... Looking at doing a little bit of both. I own a home. Should I sell it? Should I purchase? But you know, we, we know we'll want to upsize eventually. How's the market right now in general? Gotcha. Well, you know, it really depends. My answer is going to depend on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to sell and upsize into a bigger house, that could be a great market because interest rates are low right now. So it's really going to depend what specifically you're looking to do. So tell me, is it to buy an investment property? Is it to upsize or maybe liquidate? If we made the move, we'd be upsizing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So you tell me you want to upsize. Um, what's important about getting into a bigger house? For us, it's, we, we need space right now. We have, uh, we have, an, we have two kids and we, well, we've had two kids. We just had our third. Congratulations. Uh, we, just, we just need some elbow room and we need, you know, the boys are rambunctious. They need to run around. We need outdoor space. Gotcha. So what I'm hearing is that you need more space for your family and that new baby that just came along, right? Well, let me uh, ask you this. What happens if you stay in the current house, regardless of market conditions? What happens if you stay in that house and everybody's crammed in that house together? It's uh, a little bit of a shit show right now, right? Mm -hmm. So we. we're so good. So here's the thing. I can sense the frustration in your voice. And what I know is that you and your family, you deserve more. Your kids deserve that yard. Your new baby deserves its own bedroom. And what we want to do is get you into that house. What we know, interest rates are super low right now. Your family deserves it. Your wife deserves it. And you deserve it. If the numbers make sense and the monthly payment makes sense and we can lock in the lowest interest rate we've ever seen, now's the right time to do it. There you go. Anthony rocking that. Tom, are we back? It looks smooth now. I, it's as smooth as it's going to be right now. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Yeah, you're good. looks like you're on your cell phone. It's perfectly good. Cool. Let's roll. So, Tom, just out of curiosity, I know you're a pro around here. How, how's the market? Well, you know, that, that's a really good question, and it really depends on what you're looking to do in the market. There's some really great reasons to buy a home right now with historically low rates. There's some great reasons to cash out and sell high with inventory levels. And if you're looking to invest, it's all about performance. So what you're asking the question, tell me a little bit more about what you're thinking, Dan. I'm thinking about picking up an investment property or two. I see the values. I mean, everything just seems pretty good in interest rates, all that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's too high right now. Like, is everything about to fall apart? 
Well, the, you know, investment properties really come down to how the asset performs. You know, I've always seen the mistake people make is they buy based on appreciation instead of the cash on cash return on their money. So if we could find you something that gives you a positive return that's going to be in line with your expectations, would you want to sit down and just go over the strategies available to identify those properties so we can have your money make more money for you? That sounds, yeah, that sounds, that sounds like it makes sense. Um, do you feel though, like the mark, you know, I don't know. I mean, do you feel like the market's about to fall apart with, uh, or is it, is it just too hot right now? Do you think it'll sustain? How much longer do you think we'll have a good market like this? So, you know, if anyone knew that, I mean, they'd be sitting here with a crystal ball and that just doesn't happen. So given what's happening right now, we're seeing that interest rates are really low. That's a fixed payment. That's going to lock you in at that carrying cost for the life of the loan. So that allows your asset to perform, which is what you're looking for, right? Yeah, absolutely. So no, knowing that's the case, I mean, would it be that crazy for us to get together and just set up a strategy session on how we can help build your portfolio and build your wealth? No, man, I'll get to, yeah, we, we could get together. Let's do that for sure. Let's do that for sure. And we're at five seconds, four seconds and three. You guys, I'm really glad I don't have to vote on this one. <laughs> Kind of hate the fact that we had you up against each other because someone who absolutely crushed it is about to be eliminated and in my book i'd have you both moving on so i think this contest is about to take a step backwards by losing one of you <laughs> yeah, um, that was that was super impressive and you guys both went different directions i like dan that you took them down different paths um so they couldn't plan off what the other person did so uh, that was good. You guys really killed it with that. Like, if you guys are watching this, you need to go back and watch this again and again. You need to take notes off of this. Like, there are some amazing takeaways from this. I know that this will become part of our training with our team moving forward. So this is great. And this is the last one of round one. So Z, Treasure, you guys are on deck just to uh, get you guys ready for it. Make sure you guys vote right now. Hit it. It's on your screen. Go ahead and vote. And uh, Glover's in the comments saying it's automatically voting for whoever's on the left is what he seems to think is happening. If it helps you, Glover, you are on the left. I don't know if that changes anything <laughs> for you, um, if it makes you feel better about what you believe is the tech issue. Uh, results are in 73% tool, 27% man's on. Honestly, Anthony, you freaking crushed, dude. Great job. Uh, we're going to keep this moving, Tom. Glad you got reception again. Hang tight. <laughs>